the first time this place was ever open, it opened in the name of the Jake Lakeside Tavern. Huh, I've not heard that. Jake Lakeside Jake Tavern. Davis. Uh -huh. Jake Davis. After Jake left, after Jake died, Jake got killed right over the cloud, two wood houses, right over here, side by side. Two wood houses. Jake got killed in the square room, the one heading west. Uh -huh. His wife killed him. Her name was Del. They had two boys. One was my friend, Jackie. Del killed Jake on a Sunday morning. After the place, after Jake died, he brought Herbert Williams in here from Leesburg. Uh -huh. Herbert had been here, he ran in Lindy White in Dade City, right down on East Main. He ran here for years, from 19, about 40 something, up until about 1955. Yeah, you know, I think I vaguely remember that. After he, he left that and went back to Leesburg, he started the trucking outfit, started hauling uh -huh. rocks, just bought a bunch of rock trucks. E.B. got went into this place. E.B. brought Herbert back to run this place. Okay. Herbert changed the name to the Cow Palace. You know, the Cow Palace was out in California. Mm -hmm. It was a big out, big to do thing out there, the Cow Palace. This became the Cow Palace. It became the cow palace on and on and on and on. After uh -huh. that. And this was back early 50s. Early 50s, from probably about 58. Yeah, about 58 up until about uh, 70 something. 74 or something like that. When the music, when the music started changing, it's called okay. scene started changing. You started seeing Archie Bell in the Drills, uh, Bobby Blaine, uh, Billy <coughs> Kane. Uh, James Brown, old, whole big term. I've had other people tell me different names. I've heard Tina, Ike Turner. All of us, it's all been of, a lot of people. The stars have down, been down here. through the years, the, it's been a lot of people come in this place. You got to remember, a lot big of those people were big stars. I used to be the cleanup man. They were yeah, exactly. The, the, so they, they, yeah. they're big stars before they yeah. died, but they weren't when they were right. It was in the day of the segregation. Oh, yes. You know, you, you couldn't run into the big clubs in downtown. Yeah, right. You right. could go into the Cotton Club or, or the Paradise, Grace's Place, uh, Midway Dance Land. Uh huh. All those, all the black spots. You couldn't go into the white spots. You know, but right. as time progressed and moved on, things changed. Mm hmm. Went, just, that north of that Mason Dixon, it was wide open. It was business as usual. But the South, it was, you know, it, it had its. It had its differences. That was yeah, a, until the 60s, it was illegal to have anything. a function for blacks mm -hmm. that would serve whites mm -hmm. and vice versa. Yeah, I remember as a little boy right there in downtown Dade City. I got caught drinking water upstairs from the white water fountain. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember the white and, white and water color. fountains in the courthouse. God told me, a deputy walked up to me, Glen Roy Wells, told me, he said, what would you do in breaking from that white water fountain? I said, hell, the water. I said, I didn't say hell. I said, the water is the same color. I don't see no difference in it. He said, one is for white people, one is for niggas, just like that. Yeah. You know what I said? I couldn't, my dad got a cab stand downtown, they did right there off of Maine. I couldn't go back and tell my daddy what I just did. I had to keep that hush, honey. Hmm. I had to keep that on the monitor little room. But, that's how the time to work. Yeah. You had to go uptown to use the bathroom. You had to go there, over there by Western Auto. You had to go south. Yeah. Around the building, go downstairs and use the bathroom, being black. We've come a long way, but we still got ways to go. Yeah, but yeah. Well, I thank God for change. I forgot how his name. He ended up owning the uh, Eddie's Drive. He ended up owning that one time. Yeah, I think I remember, the, I think I know. And the other one up on here up there further, uh, what was that, the, the, the uh, VFW, what was on the right there, the Eagles, what was it? Uh, oh, uh, what, where the Eagles is now yeah. was uh, Henry's Steakhouse. 
Well, he owned that at one time. He owned two or three uh -huh. different establishments here. If I remember when it was built, I can't think of yeah. Henry's last name. The yeah. Hoppy turned this whole area around. Black started going out the club I owned and stuff. But it was it was a whole different era. When yeah. The right people came to town, just the whole town changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, with the, all the different things over the years that have happened, it's going to be a chore to get ideas changed about this place, and, and that's what yeah. we have to do. Yeah. Um, but now in this day and age, I think that will be a lot easier. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, oh no, people it's, it's appreciate. Well, there's a lot of people that, that yeah. appreciate the, the history of this, but there's yeah. still the people that are dead set against it, too. Period. Just mm -hmm. because yeah, it's well, a black and white thing. And, well, in its last years, long after it had changed the name from Cow Palace, uh, there was a lot of problems out here. Yeah. 